shit. His gun is touching my shit. <laughs> Look at that shit again, my shit. <laughs> shit, shit. All right, welcome back. I'm gonna let Billy play because uh, tonight's uh, planned. Tonight. In tonight's planned uh, festivities, I'm gonna be playing the next game, so I figure I might as well let him play for a little while. Fuck you. There's a bunch of them down here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm getting angry. <laughs> All these guys have the um, what's it, the uh, skin from the Game of Thrones? Uh, rock jaw. Rock scale. Lock jaw. Scale rock. Something lock jaw. Something like I'm getting angry. I, I missed it. Fuck. Yeah. I mean, we don't, like, desperately need it right now. Piece of shit! Fuck you! I don't remember what's after this, aside from the tunnels. Mine crush! Oh, don't we fight that one guy in the lava field? Uh, yeah. Hey. Hey, you piece of shit! Oh, my. That's something to blow up. <laughs> I don't remember what you have to do to stop those. Do you? No. Can you stop them? Maybe. There you go. That's using the old noggin. Oh, another elevator. Hello. Ah! Ah, clown! Clarence! Clam! It's It from the movie It. Which, oh I have, which I have seen now. But not the good one. Well, I mean, some people like it. It was okay. It was very okay, in my opinion. I hear that it's pretty decent if you've seen the first. It might be better if you've seen the first one. I, I thought it was just okay as a movie. I think the source material is kind of stupid. It was my thing. You don't like Stephen Clang? I think... Um, I don't really know much about Stephen King, but I've heard a lot of people say that he is a writer who just writes and doesn't cut anything. And it, on the whole, feels like a, a, like a story that was written with no disregard for cutting anything for pacing or anything. Like, he just came up with all these ideas and all of them made the cut, you know. And I'm sure you know this, and everybody else knows this. After researching it for one second, they they have there's a sex scene. child orgy scene that's supposed to be in the book. That's why I, I thought I only thought the movie was okay because <laughs> it wasn't in the movie. Bye. Is that gonna be enough? Did he fall to his death? No. Nope. I would have gotten the thing. Well, shit. Um, but yeah, just the ideas that were kind of in the it book are kind of stupid. The idea on paper is not bad, but like it, I think it's it is kind of a matter of execution. Huh? I don't remember this thing. I mean, clearly there's worms everywhere, but like yeah, lava worms. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's not too bad. Couldn't see his health bar. Graystone. I thought you guys weren't doing any damage. Um, but stuff like the world turtle is in the book, for seemingly no reason. It's to connect his other books. Oh, is that the whole idea? Yeah. Oh. That's still kind of dumb. Is that, is, like, wh like, how does that, like, fit in with the other books? Uh, it fits in a lot more with, um, that one that just came out, um... Dark Tower. Dark Terror. Is that, like, a universe he created? Uh, yeah, basically he's created a universe. Oh. In his, and they're all connected somehow. Oh. And I'm not sure 100% since I've never read or uh, looked at Dark Tower. Oh. But, uh, I believe it's something about, like, they connect and you can, in Dark Tower, you can go to other places or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. I'm probably completely off base, but... Well, I guess that makes more sense, but I don't know. I don't, don't know. think there's anything else over here. Um, there it's not probably not safe to drop off the end over there that you found the lizard at. Yeah, so I think you got to go a different way. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I just remember reading up, and then they had like the world tur turtle thing that created our universe, and that's in the it story, yep. which I I'm like that's stupid. 
<laughs> like, I don't understand why that has to be there. I don't know. I wanted to go up. I think I think what it is for me is just as an, a standalone story. It is okay. It's kind of it's kind of got a cool premise, but I think I think um, they played a little too straight, a little too serious for it to work for me. You know, the idea of the whole thing is kind of like a monster mash. You know, where like a monster um, mash. It personifies, you know, or like finds form in the fear of the children. Yeah, and it's like that's that's a cool idea. But I think, like, you know... Um, oh, come on, guys. Not now. Oh, shit. There's two fucking <sighs> spirits there? Shit. Fucking... I don't knock those out, man. The lizards will always come back. <laughs> These guys won't. Come on. But yeah, that, that idea that a, a being or a creature can, can take form of, of your deepest fear is, is cool. Like, that idea is interesting, but... You know, for children, it's like, oh, I'm afraid of the Wolfman, I'm afraid of Dracula, you know. Well, at the time, too, the initial first one was in the 50s or whatever. Yeah. It's a cool idea, but then, like, I think, like, as a serious, like, if you're trying to make it seriously horror, like, horror-oriented, I think it comes across as kind of cheesy. But that's just me. And then I watched, uh, I watched the Cloverfield movies, I told you about that earlier. Mm -hmm. And those were dumb. You're dead. Ten Cloverfield Lane was okay, but the original Cloverfield I thought was dumb. It's a stupid movie. Have you ever seen it? Nope. It's dumb. I've only seen the original. They had, I mean, like, the idea is kind of neat, but the execution, I think, was, like, typical Hollywood sort of idea where they just go straight to 11 right from the beginning. Yeah. Like, there's no, like, gradual escalation. There's no, like, quiet sort of, like, you know, reveal or anything. And they show the monster, like, too much. There's one shot later, like, at the end of the movie, where it's full-on, in full view, center of the picture, and it's, a st like, a, you know, steady cam looking at it. And it's like, that's, the, like, in a monster movie, that's the one thing you don't do. It's like, show the fucking monster. Like, I was bummed that they showed the monster. I mean, technically, they only show the monster in uh, Cloverfield once in full. No, you in know, full. I know in full, but... In like, little they... pieces, it's fine. But, but they, they still it's show it a be, lot, though. Yeah, they do. I still think they show it a lot. Like, they show the little jittery creatures a lot more than they show uh, the big one. They still show both a lot, in my opinion. Like, they showed it too much. Like, too much, like, in plain view, like, full-on, like, seeing everything that's happening. There's a, a shot they have later of, like, from a helicopter that they get it of it, and it's like, that's one of those things, too, where it's like, you know, I just think that they could have, you know, you don't have to show the whole thing so much. And just, like, the scene at the end, oh, like, oh. spoilers, the camera guy gets eaten, but it's, like, in full view before it eats the guy. Yeah. And it just comes out of nowhere. It eats the one dude, and then the two other people that were with him, like, leave. It's like, what? Because fuck that guy. Like, they were running at the end of the movie, and they had to, like, get a last bit of drama in there, so they killed the camera guy. You know, like, oh, man. Who's coincidentally, his name is HUD, which is, like, uh... <laughs> Stupid. So yeah, I thought it was a dumb movie. It was whatever. overall, I didn't like it. I didn't but really it, it looked like um, Cloverfield Lane was gonna be better. See, I watched Ten Cloverfield Lane first, and then I watched Cloverfield. Um, Ten Cloverfield Lane was better, but it, it, they did the exact same thing at the end of the movie. They showed the creatures too much. You see, is is that the one where he's like, "Yo, you can't go outside, dude. Yeah. What's happening?" It's John, yeah, it's John Goodman, uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and other guy. All I know is like some girl comes in, and, like starts molesting this kid, and then barfs black sludge into his mouth. And it's really hot. What? I think you're thinking of a different movie. I must be thinking <laughs> of a different movie. <laughs> that's not that's not Ten Cloverfield Lane. Oh wait, isn't Ten Cloverfield Lane the one where? Um, yeah, they're in the bunker. Yeah. Well, okay, so there is another movie. Because uh, the guy's, like, tied to a tree at the start. No, that's not Yeah, Ten that's Clover a different... Lane. Ten Cloverfield Lane came out, like, last year. <sighs> oh. uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane is really, like, recent. It came out last year. Yeah, okay. So, two different ones. Because uh, the other one, yeah, is also very recent. Yeah, I never said that. That's all right, that's all right. You know. We had the time on the uh, The other one's really recent, too. That sounds kind of familiar. At least, like, the vomiting black goo part. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is, though. I can't tell you, because I can't, I can't remember. So, so, um, 
<laughs> not to change. I want to change the topic here real quick. Um, we're in the mines, of I guess, Moria? What, of what would be considered, I guess, maybe two, 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 or th- three, two, or whatever. We're in the second stage, right? Second part of it, yeah. so to speak. Um, and I remember when we were at the Shrine of Storms, we kind of decided to go to a different area. Do we do the same thing here? Do you think? <laughs> this thing's gross. Or we go to a different level? Probably. Um, so I think there's two other choices, I believe. Uh, I'll right? Get you. Right? Uh, yeah, there's uh, the... The Valley of Defilement. The uh, worst or the Cthulhu. place. Uh, or the Cthulhu. Yeah. Which I actually kind of think the Valley of Defilement is the next major place that we should go to. Yeah. Though I hate it. I hate it, too. That's the one I probably remember the least alongside the Cthulhu level. This is the one I remember the least. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, we is uh, we fight the dragon god down here. Yep. Yeah, we fight the dragon god down here. And it's a super easy fight. It's a super easy fight if you remember what to do. Yep. <laughs> Which I don't. I do. <laughs> I do remember. All right, then. It would, oh! if, you, if I'm playing, these are like giant lava water bears right yeah. there. Um, if you, if I play it, you gotta tell me what to do then. Cause I don't know what to do. I'm killing its younglings. <laughs> it's probably really I've been in right kind now. of like a movie mood lately, sort of, I guess. Sort of? After watching it, I'm kind of like, yeah, right, you know. I'm kind of Great up, I'm kind of up on current stuff a little bit more. Ooh, that one, those one's got wings. Yeah, those ones Isn't there angry. a guy down here you can talk to? Uh, yeah, he's like over here somewhere. Uh, yeah. He did a match. <gasps> what? You're a meshy! <laughs> yes, you're yeah, a meshy! Kuwabara comes up out of one. You're a meshy! Kuwabara, Kuwabara. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I, I can't do Kuwabara. It's Chris Sabat. Yeah. Hi, my name's Christus. Cri- hey, we got another one. Uh, my name's Christopher Sabat. Do they double or stack? Uh, probably. Ooh. <gasps> Man, you're getting a lot of stones. Yeah, this place is good for stones. Well, yeah, it is a mine after all. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 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 yeah that was wrong. Yeah. Oh. Get a little bit of the old in and out. Oh, know, like, yes, yes. Yeah. So I, uh... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh-huh. Go I was uh, talking to Mitch yesterday. Yeah. And I told him uh, I was thinking about movie ideas. Okay. And I just got the titles. Okay. So the first one is uh, called uh, 20 Years is Single. Or, okay. sorry, 20 Years is Senior. Okay. And it's a uh, story about a 30 year old man starting to date a 50 year old okay. woman. All right. And uh, she's just now starting to get into that, you know, like uh, old stuff. Okay. And he's he's still young enough to where he's he's starting to recognize it, and then he's a little put off by it. Uh, if you wrote a screenplay for this, you could probably sell it. Yeah, honestly, like you probably could. That sounds like an idea that Hollywood would love. Man. And then the sequels, uh, fifty years, uh, <laughs> fifty years, her uh, her senior. <laughs> An 18-year-old with a 68-year-old. Oh, okay. That sounds like a bad, like, Fifty Shades of Grey ripoff Ow. movie or something. I was not expecting him to jump. That's a big water bear. Yeah, he is. <laughs> now I'm on your butt, bitch. Are we to assume that these are the slug things? No, probably not, right? No. They're different. What was the other one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> My mum... It's British. <laughs> My mum is a teenage vampire. Oh. <laughs> that sounds good. I like that one. So, uh, his... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Oh, 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 yeah. That's, that's a lot farther than I was expecting. Damn. Don't take any chances with this fucking game. Use a heavier one, like yeah. a heavier. Yeah. Um, look I remember, him, I remember, look at him dance. <laughs> he's jiggling. He's got the jiggling fever. Anyway, um, something the other way though. Go the other yeah, way. Yeah, I know. I wanted to make sure. Uh, 
Um, oh, I missed that. Yeah, you can go back and get it in a minute. Okay. Yeah, I think this is... Here, uh, this let me, let like me a, finish my fucking... This looks like a dead end anyway. Yeah. My, uh... Oh, isn't that important that you break that? No, never mind. Probably not. Yeah. Not important at all. Anyway, my, um... Uh, my mom is uh, my mom is, is a teenage, uh, teenage vampire. vampire. Yeah. So the kid is in high school, um, and he brings over friends. And yeah, he's not a vampire at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, his mom is only a vampire, and his dad uh, just you know like impregnated her, and all all the uh, all the guys are like, "Wow, your mom's so hot" because she's. You know, teenager? she's a teenager of the same age as them, uh-huh. and uh, that'd be weird. And she's forever young because she's a vampire, and she's a vampire, so she's a little hotter. <laughs> That's just the nature of those damn vampires. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he has to constantly so, repel his uh, his his friends, his friends, off, friends of his mom. off of his mom because his mom's a just a fucking cunt and just is <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm is allowed to the, say it is British. Is that the source of conflict throughout this entire film? Because she keeps trying to blow all his friends. Um, oh, shit. Well, that's well, okay. Whatever. That's all right. Well, next time on Chinchat Traps, we're going to talk about more movie ideas. <laughs> <laughs>